daytime drama dreamboat lands in Memphis. Good evening, I'm Mike Newton. Those stories and more right now on UPN 30 News at 9. You're watching UPN 30 WLMT. This is UPN 30 News, your neighborhood newscast. Uh, ten Mid-South families are without a home tonight, recovering from a devastating fire on the edge of Midtown. Drivers say they could see the flames from three blocks away, and fire officials say it's amazing that no one was hurt. UPN 30's Michael Swartz has more. The fire roared through the roof of Williamsburg Manor. Looking at the entire building, you can see how large the blaze is. It seemed to blast through the windows of one apartment unchecked. That's how powerful it was. Residents on the sidewalk were able to do little but watch as firefighters tried to get the two alarm blaze under control. It took almost a half an hour to get the fire under control. And in that time, nobody was sure if everyone had made it out alive. Actually, when I went upstairs in the heat and I ran back downstairs, I grabbed a hose. For about two seconds, I grabbed that hose. I was like, OK, whatever, and I dropped the hose. I knew I couldn't put the fire eyes. By morning light, all there is that's left to do is survey the damage. The four apartments here are almost total losses. You can see on the roof how bad the damage was, but it's the pictures of the night before that will be hard to forget. Firefighters themselves know that this location makes it tricky and tough for them to do their jobs. Well, when you get to a situation like this, we cannot raise the ladders, put an elevated stream of water in there to quickly knock the fire down. We have to go inside with hand lines, which makes it extremely difficult and dangerous. It was, in fact, a dangerous night, and recovery will take a long time. In Memphis, Michael Schwartz, ABC 24, UPN 30 News. Now, Michael says damage estimates could be as high as $50,000 per apartment. The cause of the fire won't be known until later this week. Meanwhile, the list of charges against a suspected rapist is growing. Memphis police caught up with 19-year-old Billy Ray Sandlin Friday after nearly a month-long search. Sandlin was wanted on robbery and attempted rape charges, and police are investigating whether he's the man who raped several women in the Whitehaven area. He now faces two robbery counts, one assault count, burglary, felony invasion, and more. Sandlin remains behind bars. A former Memphis cop began serving time for raping his eight-year-old daughter. Ronald Baker was charged in September of 1998. He resigned from the force. Baker pleaded guilty to the charges. He must serve at least two years before he can be considered for parole. Well, keeping crime out of neighborhoods, the focus at an event today at the fairgrounds. Several neighborhood watch groups were on hand trying to spark interest in organizations such as their own. And in the annual event known as National Night Out, Last year, more than 31 million people took part in the event. The more watchers that we have throughout the city and the county uh, in the form of neighborhood watch groups, the better the communities are because if everyone's looking out for one another, we can ensure that we're all safe. Well, National Night Out is set for August 1st. And it was a beautiful day outside today, much cooler than we've seen in a long time. Let's go to the man, Mark Walden in the Skynet Weather Center to tell us more. Hello, Mark. How are you doing there? Considering that this is the warmest time of the year, the temperatures in the 80s don't sound that bad, but will they stick around for your Sunday and even further out? What about next week? Are we back into the upper 90s? Well, stay tuned. I've got a forecast I think you'll like coming up in a few minutes. Okay, Mike? thanks a lot, Mark. Well, former Mississippi Governor Kurt Fordyce is recovering after gallstone surgery. The governor was admitted to the hospital in Jackson after complaining of nausea. Tests on the 66-year-old showed he had gallstones. Fordyce served two terms as Mississippi's governor from 1992 to 2000. He was the state's first Republican governor in 100 years. Now, Senator Fred Thompson of Tennessee was among the political leaders who attended the funeral today of Senator Paul Coverdale of Georgia. The 61-year-old Coverdale died Tuesday of a brain hemorrhage. Senator Ted Kennedy of Massachusetts and Republican presidential hopeful George W. Bush were also at the service. Well, when your neighborhood news returns, Jasmine was the name of a princess in one of those Disney movies, and we're gonna introduce you to our own Princess Jasmine and this week's Waiting Child. Stay with us. Closed captioning is provided by UPN 30. And now's the time to make your move to the Lincoln Luxury Summer Event and Lincoln LS, the Motor Trend Car of the Year. 
or Lincoln Navigator, the most powerful full-size luxury sport utility in the world. It's the luxury event of the year. So stop by your Lincoln dealer now and make your move to luxury. Her daddy left home this morning I'll be there. forever. Wait and see. She'll be twice as likely to get pregnant in her teens. 37% more likely to abuse drugs. I love you. Even if you don't live with your kids, your emotional and financial support gives them a better chance. The best friend you ever had. Remember Jared? He lost 245 pounds on his own diet, which included Subway's low-fat sandwiches and lots of walking. It's been a year, so let's see how he's doing. Looking buff, Jared. Way to go, Jared. Thanks to seven Subway sandwiches with six grams of fat or less and laying off the burgers and fries, Jared's looking pretty good. He's a true inspiration to dieters everywhere. Subway, the way a sandwich should be. Come into your local participating Subway restaurant and get three regular footlongs for only $9.99. If it was brought to you by truck, by barge, or by air, chances are Southern Fabricators played a part. Since 1956, our dedicated, skilled employees have provided a high-tech, high-benefit impact on the Mid-South economy. Committed to our community and to the future. Southern Fabricators. We touch your life daily. Making it in America starts right here at home. Well, sometimes it seems we may take a lot for granted, but not one Mid-South girl. Three-and-a-half-year-old Jasmine was born into this world with a shaky start. But as Renee Malone tells us, she's not letting it slow her down. Meet Jasmine, this week's waiting child. Nobody's perfect, and that includes me. But I hope when you see me, like what you see, I'm a waiting child. The sun shines bright on three-and-a-half-year-old Jasmine. You could say she's a miracle child. Jasmine was born prematurely, weighing just one pound, five ounces at birth. That's the reason for her somewhat unsteady step. She's still undergoing physical therapy. But don't think that prevents Jasmine from knowing where she plans to go. What's that over there? Right there. What is that? Oh, right there. Okay, we'll go right there. Jasmine was pointing me in the direction of the slides, and for the first few minutes of our day in the park, it seemed she knew nothing else. Jasmine's sweet disposition is infectious, and it does not take much to make her happy. Like most kids her age, she enjoys the simple things in life, her Barney gym shoes, swinging high, and most of all, being with someone who shows her love. Now, if you would like more information about Jasmine or adoption, call the Department of Children's Services at 543-6865. And you can also check out their website at www.state.tn.us backslash youth. This Waiting Child is brought to you by Wendy's. Mel Gibson, Danny Glover, and Joe Pesci star in Lethal Weapon 2, Sunday at 7 on UPN 30's Sunday Night Cinema. Here's a Subway Smarter Eating Tip. When preparing meat dishes, select lean cuts of meat and trim all visible fat. Eat smarter. Try a regular 6-inch Subway Turkey Breast Sub. Only 4 grams of fat. Let's go. In the fight to save mankind, the future never looks so good. Go on. Make my day. What? Cleopatra 2525. Then on Jack of All Trades. Hey. He's America's most secret agent. The free world rests in your hands, Jack. And he's got more help than he can handle. Your English ain't bad. Perhaps because I'm English. <laughs> Cleopatra 2525 and Jack of All Trades. Sunday on UPN 30. 
cash, cash, cash in the flash when your money is low, where the place to go to get cash, 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 cash in the flash. It's the simple way to cash. Cash in a flash, check advance is the simple way to get the cash you need. We'll cash your check today and hold it up to 14 days. Cash in a flash, check advance with 13 Memphis area locations to serve you. Call 547-1600 or 577-1606 for the location nearest to you. Have you heard what K97 is doing? K97. Yeah, I like what K97's still doing. Mike Evans, in the early morning team. Nikki French, Jack Flea, Stan Bell, Kid Fresh, the world famous Kylan. K97. Yeah. There's my husband, Nolan Ryan. Still throwing heat. Can you believe he's got arthritis? You see, Nolan's doctor says the best way to control arthritis pain is to keep moving. And to make it easier, he recommends Advil. Nothing's been proven stronger on arthritis pain, yet it's gentle on his stomach. In fact, I take Advil for my arthritis pain. That way, we can exercise together. Advil, stronger than pain. This UPN 30 weathercast is brought to you by Bell South. Well, it's almost like springtime out <laughs> there, and Mark's here to the, join us and uh, tell us how long this lucky streak We've of cool weather is going to hang around. Really good news. It looks like this is going to hang around for another couple of days. Over time, we're slowly going to warm up, but enjoy the next couple of days with temperatures holding in the upper 80s. Take a look right now at Skynet 3D weather imagery as we put this into motion. And thunderstorms down to our south. You wonder where all the rain and... Uh, Fury of the storms have gone mainly down to the south of Jackson, right along the Gulf Coast. Meanwhile, back in Memphis, we're looking at just a few showers, mainly up to our north and across northern portions of Arkansas. But this is only light rain and mainly drizzle if we uh, really look at it. We'll take a look at the satellite loop over the past few hours. Watch this complex roll its way down to the south of Memphis. We've seen this happen for much of the week. Winds out of the northwest aloft, bringing these uh, systems through the area. And take a look at some of this video. Even though we were seeing some nice weather today, Look at this, uh, down power lines and tree limbs as those storms roar through Oklahoma. Central Oklahoma taking the brunt of the past couple of complexes of storms to roar through with 80 mile per hour winds and uh, even ripping off some roofs from a couple of houses. So uh, fortunately for us here in the Mid-South, that continues mainly off towards our west and south. And the good news is we're looking at a calmer weather pattern for the next couple of days. We'll take a look back at the other map. The jet stream continues to be over us, and we're looking at this dip bringing us the cooler weather finally as a piece of that branch from the northern jet stream moves through the Mid-South. We can take another look here at that line of storms as we look back 12 hours. Here it was, the bow echo as it moved down to our south, mainly bringing us some mid and high level clouds. Some of this uh, other rain moving through is a part of the mid and upper level trough farther to the north, which is moving through the mid-south right now. And so we can't rule out a sprinkle for tonight, but Skynet Stormcast showing us that we don't even see any strong or uh, rotating storms with anything across the Memphis area. Anything that's strong and these are dying continues down along the Gulf Coast. So if you do see a sprinkle, that's about it. No storms for tonight. You can uh, rest assured that you'll get a good night's sleep. Temperature 77 outside, humidity 56%. Northeast winds at 12 miles per hour with the rising barometer. Look at the high, only 87 degrees. That's all we could manage for this afternoon. Even the morning low running a few degrees below normal. And your sunrise tomorrow at 603, sunset at 809. And uh, despite all the clouds, no rainfall falling at the bucket out at the airport. Temperatures across the area, very pleasant. Dyersburg, already down to 73 degrees and later tonight we're going to watch temperatures drop into the 60s and right now 77 for Memphis to the north 70s are uh, pretty common the only 80s mainly sitting along the Gulf Coast tonight and is this weather going to stick around for another month well it would be nice but uh, here's the look for August cooler temperatures mainly up to the north and west of us warmer down to the south we're right in between, which means we're going to see normal temperatures, which is upper 80s to lower 90s as we move into the month of August. So that's your first look at the really extended forecast tonight. Down to 67 here in Memphis, and uh, some of the outlying areas will drop into the middle and possibly lower 60s. And for tomorrow, temperatures climbing back to a very comfortable 86 degrees. All right, let's take a look at your forecast. Northeast winds will be moving its way. Uh, we'll continue to bring pleasant temperatures through the mid-south. That front continues to our south with all the rain mainly there. Tonight, 67. We will continue with the cloud cover and for tomorrow, temperatures will climb back into the middle 80s. Those pools uh, not looking 
as full, but uh, it's still pleasant. It's still nice to get to the pool and uh, enjoy yourself out there. The five-day forecast shows you that it's a mainly dry week shaping up for us, and we just get back to climatology, back to normal by the time we see Thursday. And you can't beat this week. Really nice no. for late July. No. And if you sell bottled water, you're kind of hoping the temperatures yeah, are going you get, up. You've got to wait right? a couple of weeks, right? Yeah. Well, you know something? Lately, it seems everyone is drinking bottled water for health and convenience reasons. But most bottled water is missing a health ingredient that's especially important for children. Dr. Dean Adell explains why dentists are worried. Heather Salazar is a mom on the go who grabs bottled water for herself and her daughter, Lorena. It's nice to carry it around and have it with you and um, it tastes better. No doubt about it, water is good for you and bottled water is portable and convenient. But here's the problem. In the filtering process, most bottled waters take out fluoride, the number one tooth decay fighter. And dentists are concerned that a whole generation of kids may be missing out on fluoride at the time they need it the most. Fluoride is an element that helps the tooth form the enamel. Um, the more fluoride in it, the stronger the enamel becomes and more resistant to dental decay. A recent Cleveland survey of bottled water published in the Archives of Family Medicine says only 5% of bottled water meets recommended fluoride levels. Fluoride is so important because dental decay is a preventable disease. The vast majority of tap water in the United States is both very drinkable and bacteria free. But if you still have doubts, use a carbon filter. That will allow the fluoride through. I cook with it daily. You know, it's she'll get a glass or so a day from the sink. So I feel that she's getting adequate amount of fluoride. Here's the bottom line. If you and your child prefer bottled water, that's fine. Just make sure your child gets a glass of tap water every day or a daily fluoride supplement available by prescription. She'll be thanking you for it sometime down the road. I'm Dr. Dean Adele. Now, for a comparison of what actually is in tap water versus bottled water, go to our website at abc24.com and click on the Health Central logo. Now, you might be surprised to find the cheap and plentiful stuff coming out. Uh, the tap often scores better than the bottles. Well, still to come, Tiger continues his assault at the British Open. The Redbirds try to turn back the Sidewinders, and a former Tiger football player is now in the NFL. Michael Eves steps in next with sports. The Nutty Professor is back. Club in charge. And he's brought the whole family back oh! for seconds. Go buy Popeyes at the corner of Kirby and Winchester Monday, July 24th from 4 to 6 p.m. Get posters and movie passes to a sneak peek of Nutty Professor 2, The Clumps. Nutty Professor 2, The Clumps. Get your passes. It's easy. Make sure you go buy Popeyes, Kirby and Winchester Monday, the 24th from 4 to 6 p.m. Compliments of UPN 30 WLMT. Please permit us to pause for just a few moments. On Rock 103, you don't have to sit through songs like this. Stop the music! To get to songs like this. Now hear this. It's a good thing we're pretty impatient. More of the best in classic rock. Rock 103. Bloody frickin' dog! Great hotels make Kissimmee St. Cloud the perfect place to sleep, though the neighbors have been known to throw some big-time celebrations. Kissimmee St. Cloud, right next door to the Walt Disney World Resort. Call for a free visitor's guide. On vacation, there are three things to consider when selecting a hotel. Location, location, location. Kissimmee St. Cloud, right next door to the Walt Disney World Resort. Call for a free visitor's guide. All the world over so easy to see. People everywhere just want to be free. GTE Wireless is now Verizon Wireless. 
join in. Hi, my name is Mike Starnes. I'm a chairman and CEO of MS Carriers. We're a trucking logistics company located here in Memphis, Tennessee that serves the continental United States, Mexico, and Canada. Now, we were very lucky 21 years ago when we started MS Carriers in Memphis because it's since become recognized as America's distribution center. For our 4,000 employees, MS Carriers is very proud to be recognized as having a part in Memphis becoming America's distribution center. Sports is provided by Cecil's by Albertsons. UPN 30 back in the house. You know, folks, I'm really at a loss for words right now. And for those of you who know me personally, you know just how rare that is. But seriously, what else can I or anyone else say about Tiger Woods? His game is like, whoa. He's the Michael Jordan, Wayne Gretzky, Richard Petty, Babe Ruth, and Mia Hamm of golf. No one else is even in the neighborhood. His only competition, the record books, and himself. To St. Andrews for round three of the 129th. British Open. Tiger, he may be supernatural, but hey, he's still human. A three-putt bogey at number two, his first bogey of the week, well, that is the, the first, first he's made in a major week. since the 10th hole during the third round of the U.S. Open. David Duvall, solid round today, six under 66. Does anyone remember that he's still the number two ranked golfer in the world? Back to Tiger. It's your world, kid. Just happy to be in it. Tiger extends his three-stroke lead to six thanks to a five under 67. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Tiger's fourth Grand Slam title almost in the book, sitting on a six stroke lead. There you see Thomas Bjorn also tied with David Duvall for second. Lauren Roberts, he's played solid in all three majors this season. He's tied with Darren Clark and David Toms for fourth place, seven strokes off the pace. Back here in the States, Kari Webb seeking her first U.S. Women's Open title. That's her feet. Carter a 468 to give her a four-shot lead over Meg Mallon, who carted a one over 73 today. Now, here in town, local qualifying for the World Long Drive Championship. Well, may have been a five wood. It started off pretty high. There it is. I told you. This was going down, by the way, at the Putt-Putt Family Park over off Summer Avenue. Now, the top drive of the day came from the senior division Bobby Fernander cranking out a drive of 357 yards and four inches. Fernander, John W. Cook Jr., and Kristen Simonton will all head to Louisville in two months for district qualifying thanks to today's performances. Well, it's been said that good teams aren't lucky, they just make their own luck. And Galen Pitts and the Redbirds have made their fair share of luck this season, including last night when a two-out steal in the bottom of the ninth helped Memphis force extra innings against Tucson. Again, the Redbirds eventually won. 2-1 in 11 innings this evening. Congratulations. Tucson jumps out in front early. Esteban Beltre shoots one to the gap. Jason Conti, he scores. All the way from first. Sidewinders go up one zip. Fifth inning, Juan Munoz drives one to left field wall. Keith McDonald, come on home. Next inning, Lou Luca. Lou Luca! Solo, opposite field. But oh well, Tucson would win the game 5-4. to four. Memphis has dropped eight of its last 12 games. In the big, St. Louis invading Houston. Jeff Bagwell, oh my goodness. That's deep and gone. Number 25 in the year for Bags. Then Wade Miller on the hill for Houston gets Jim Evans swinging. Evans did have his 28th home run of the season in this game, but Houston doubled it up. The Cardinals 10-5, to five. St. Louis six games ahead of Cincinnati. Well, we're just about a month away from kicking off the high school football season, and to whet your appetite, how about a reminder of last year, the Tennessee East-West Shrine game in Murfreesboro. Defense anyone? Merrill's defensive end, Mondre Dickerson, stringing out the play and allowing Chris McKinney to make the tackle. Teamwork defense and more defense from the West. Hamilton defensive lineman Thomas Johnson snuffing out the quarterback keeper. How about some offense? Sean Sanford to Rod Williams in the flat. 23 yards later, West was up 6-0. That was a halftime score, but right now the East leads at 14-6 in the fourth quarter. In NFL news, former UT running back Jamal Lewis has agreed in principle to a six-year, $35 million contract with the Baltimore Ravens. With a $6.5 million signing bonus, Lewis would make $14 million in his rookie season. Also landing an NFL contract today, former U of M running back Gerard Arnold, who signed a two-year free agent deal with the Washington Redskins. Financial terms were not disclosed.
Now to tennis for some semifinal action. Well, let me tell you this. Okay. Finals of the USTA Clay Court semifinals tomorrow. Racket Club, 9 a.m. So get up early and go watch some tennis and come back and watch Tiger win the British Open. Okay, we're there. Thanks, uh -huh. Michael. Well, still to come tonight, Mark's going to have one more look at our forecast. Plus, he's one of the hottest stars on daytime television, and he was right here in the Mid-South today. Meet Mark Consuelo next, so stay with us. with 100% calcium. Total is the only food that has 100% of the daily value of calcium in a single serving. Even before you add the milk. Total, now with 100% calcium. Cash, 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 cash in a flash When your money is low, we're the place to go To get cash, 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 cash in a flash It's the simple way to cash Cash in a flash, check advance Is the simple way to get the cash you need We'll cash your check today And hold it up to 14 days Cash in a flash, check advance With 13 Memphis area locations to serve you Call 547-1600 Or 577-1606 For the location nearest you Last year, the Source Hip Hop Music Awards exploded with blockbuster performances by Lauryn Hill, Snoop Dogg, and more. Hip Hop, y'all, let's just keep it straight from the heart. Let's continue to keep it in the heart, y'all. God bless you. This year, it's going to be even bigger. Tonight, the world's in the house. Who will be there? Who will steal the show? There's only one way to find out. Hip Hop history up in here. The Source Hip Hop Music Awards, coming August 29th. Only on UPN. The Tigers have worked hard. They know the X's and O's, and they're ready to win. My job help is to help them act me, like winners. Right? Four, five, six, I think the football seven, field is nothing more than a big stage. Three. Can you be a Tiger? Great Can performers find motivation. Theirs is to beat the daylights out of people. And action. For the number one, the I'm here to help them bring out their inner Tiger. The Tigers are getting ready to win. Get your game face on and get your season tickets today. Roar! Interested in volunteering? Want to learn how you can get involved? UPN 30, ABC 24, Sprint PCS, Hands on Memphis, and Wendy's want to help you. Call the Reaching for Excellence Volunteer Network hotline at pound VOL on your Sprint PCS phone or 818-5VOL to get the latest Hands on Memphis volunteer opportunities. It's important, it's easy, and it makes a difference. Sponsored in part by Sprint PCS, Hands on Memphis, the Memphis Flyer, Wendy's, and ABC 24, UPN 30. And finally tonight, this one's for the ladies. Crowds lined up today at the Mall of Memphis to get autographs from Mark Consuelo, better known as Matejo Santos on the soap opera All My Children. Consuelo has been with the program for five years and says he owes it all to his fans. They, they watch the show, they're invested in the show, they, they're, they're dedicated, and um, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. Okay, and I know this is going to break some hearts, but Mark is married to his on-screen wife, Kelly, and they have one son. His name is Michael. Good name, Michael. Not bad. Right. I like that one. <laughs> and Mark. And Mark, yeah. Good enough. Three and forecast. Okay. A slow warm up over the next couple of days. Back up to about 92 by the time we get Thursday. Tomorrow, only 86. Okay, terrific. Thanks, Mark. And as we leave you tonight, this one's for the guys. A little Faith Hill. Good to enjoy your evening. Oh, so tell me how. Yeah.